Oh, Trib Live Radio. Don't you dare be sour. Clap for your number one WWE analyst and feel the power. It's a new day. Yes, it is. <laughs> Today is a new day, but yesterday, amigos, was a missed opportunity. New day jumping Dolph Ziggler and taking the spot to challenge John Cena in his U.S. Open challenge was good. It served several purposes. It got Ziggler a reason to be involved since he's apparently going to be fighting John Cena at recess. More on that in a little bit. The other purpose was it got heat on the New Day. We got to remember, they are entertaining, but it is important to keep them focused as heels because that's what they are. Get all the mileage you can out of these three talented performers and let them heal it up. And that was accomplished. This should be... This should have been a moment for New Day to acquire more titles. Big E should have won the U.S. title in the main event of Raw. You know, you, you felt like something had to happen. There's all this big buildup. Who's going to challenge John Cena? Who's going to challenge John Cena? And that's what, how they're going to end the main event of Raw in Cena's hometown. New Day is the hottest thing going right now that's not named Brock Lesnar. This was the opportunity to capitalize and continue the momentum. Have Cena put over a guy in Big E who behind the scenes he has been a huge advocate of. And then Ziggler could have somehow been involved. He could have came down before the match was actually over. Accidentally kicks Cena, Cena loses the title, and all the business that you need accomplished and told is accomplished and told. This was a missed opportunity. New Day, I hope on the next day, gets what they deserve. Trip Live Radio, we got plenty coming up over the next hour. We're going to talk John Cena and Dolph Ziggler. We're going to talk NXT special, Daniel Bryan. I'm also going to explain to you the value of being beat. Yes, the value of being valuable to be beat. I'm going to school you. Trib Live Radio.